After a long day, nothing beats the aroma of a homemade meal. And that's exactly what beef pares does to one's senses. The mixture of ginger, pares sauce and beef stock is enough to calm down one's nerves after a busy day. This is how you make the ultimate beef pares. Now you'll need 3 pounds of beef brisket, 1 onion, 6 cloves of garlic, 2 tablespoons of ginger, quarter cup of soy sauce, a quarter cup of oyster sauce, a quarter cup of brown sugar, 4 pieces of star anise, 4 tablespoons of vegetable oil, a third cup of roasted garlic, garlic, 6 green onions, some salt and pepper to taste and 2.5 and cups of beef broth. Now you also want to keep some beef broth to serve on the side, around 5 cups or so. Or if you have time to make your own from the beef brisket first, you should do this in advance. Now in a deep pot, heat the oil over medium heat and add the ginger, garlic and onions. Season with salt and pepper and saute until softened for about 2 minutes. Usually sold in Pares restaurants and the nearby Carinderia, this beef Pares recipe can be made of any part of beef you have, but mainly it's made of brisket. Soy sauce, sugar, heaps of garlic and you could try some lemon juice, all give it its flavor and body. And even cornstarch, which is optional and I like to skip that, as many Carinderias do, where the Pares is more on the thinner side. Add the beef and season with salt and pepper and cook it until slightly brown before adding the soy sauce and oyster sauce. Then stir and mix and cook for another 2-3 minutes. Now this beef pares recipe, though having simple ingredients, is a slow cooker in that you need to cook the beef for quite a period of time. With this in mind, you can either let the meat simmer for 2 hours or use a pressure cooker to cut the time to around 30 minutes. I'd recommend you use a pressure cooker to make it a meal that's easy to whip up. The soup on the other hand is already easy to prepare since you're just going to use beef broth. Add the broth and bring the pot to a boil. Once boiling, add the sugar and star anise and lower the heat to medium low. Simmer for about 2 hours until the beef is very tender and keep adding fresh water if necessary. Now if using a pressure cooker, cook for about 30 to 40 minutes and check if the beef is tender. The sweet sauce of beef pares is also part of its great taste. The dish is then partnered with garlic fried rice and beef broth, which is the main reason why it's called pares or pears. The chopped green onions can be added as a garnish or can be included in the mix while cooking. Again, there are variations to this pares recipe as you can use steamed rice instead of garlic fried rice, serving this as a breakfast instead of dinner, then adding the optional cornstarch for more thickness. Check the flavor and serve hot with a sprinkling of roasted garlic and diced green onions. Now serve the dish with the extra beef broth and garlic fried rice, each in a separate bowl. Also, a little secret, add a few drops of the beef stew sauce in the bowl with the beef broth to make it even more delicious and match the flavor of the main dish. Also, since you already have a beef broth on the side, you can choose to make the dish with less broth. Just experiment a bit. I hope you'll enjoy this as much as I do. And if you like beef recipes, check out this Filipino bulalo recipe with beef shank and cabbage. I think you'll enjoy that one as well. And it's a real comfort food. 